let's rank the four eyeshadow palettes that I tried in the month of April. I do have dedicated videos on all of these palettes and I do have comparison swatches for these two palettes, the Reflective palette and the Secret Garden palette. So getting into the ranking, there are only four palettes and I think this was definitely a very hard ranking. Last month I was like, yep, I know exactly where I'm ranking each palette, but this time it's a little bit harder. And I did receive all these palettes in PR. So getting into the fourth place, it's gonna have to be Mellow Grove from Lethal Cosmetics. As much as I hate to put it down here, I do really enjoy this color story, but there's a couple of things that just knock it down for me. Mattes, beautiful. Shimmers, beautiful. Some of them a little bit meh than others, but not necessarily too much of a negative because they will not crease on me because they are on the drier side, but I just felt like once I put them on the lid, they didn't really give me what kind of like I like. Though very sometimes I do like more subdued shimmers, but that is a time in the day and it's not very often. So for all those reasons, and also these two mattes are very similar and they're also very similar to their previous palette in this packaging that they launched, which I forget off the top of my head what it was called. Not Metamorphosis. It had a moth on it, you know which one I'm talking about. And I swatched those on the back of my hand in my video on this palette and these palettes kind of launched not back to back, obviously a few months have passed, but they are kind of one after another. The palette was easier to place specifically because I feel like I prefer so much some of these other palettes in the ranking. In third place is the first Blend Bunny collaboration and it is with Ellis Atlantis. I did a dedicated video where I did five looks using all 45 shades in this palette. Yes, that is right. I used every single shade in the palette to really test it out and get a feel for it. Is this the same Blend Bunny formula? And yes, it is. But what I'm most excited to talk about is the shimmers in the center. Oh, they're so beautiful. These are by far the best shimmer Blend Money has ever come out with. They are just so, so beautiful. I mean, they look wet on the lid. They're just stunning. I really want like a little palette of just these shades. The Engineer shade is a little bit more on the emollient side. It feels a little bit almost wet. So I did have a little bit of creasing issues with this one, but not really too big of a deal because it didn't crease like right away. It took like about a couple hours. So I, so I could just kind of tap it out, but it's probably not a shade that I'm going to wear if I'm going to be out and about for like the whole day. The mattes, beautiful. They blend together really nicely. They build on each other really nicely. I mean, what more is there to say? If you've been on my channel, you know I love the Blend Bunny matte formula. Okay, second and first place are really hard. I feel like these palettes are a little interchangeable depending on the day, depending on the week, depending on the hour. <laughs> but in second place, I'm going to put the Reflective palette from Zygos Beauty. This is a new brand. It is based out of India and it was started by a fellow content creator on Instagram. And I did a whole dedicated video. I did comparison swatches to the shimmer shadows. There are four squishy shadows in here. I have now taken two tissue paper and just really squeeze them, like really, really squeeze them. And that's because I have hooded oily lids. So those kinds of formulas that are a little bit on the squishy side will just crease on. So I have alleviated that issue from this palette and now it is perfect. I love the mattes in here. They're really, really great quality. I love that they're just a bunch of neutrals with a bunch of special shadows that are shimmer shadows. I really enjoy this palette, especially godly, unreal, universe, worldly. Like those are true standouts in this palette for me. Such, oh my God, I almost just dropped it. <sighs> Oh my gosh, okay. So in first place is the Secret Garden Palette from Bella Beauté Bar. And I really mostly put this one in here because it does have more of a color story. There's more mattes in here than shimmers, while the other one is kind of like curated in a different way. This one is more colorful. And I really just love this color combination of pinks and greens. And I also love the neutral row at the top. Shimmers, beautiful. Some of them were squishy. Again, I will take a tissue to it and just press it out until it is no longer squishy, but it is a little bit of a con, but because I love everything else about this palette so much, the mattes are really nice and pigmented. I do really enjoy the Bella Beauté Bar matte formula and their shimmers. This shimmer up here is a hollow and it is so beautiful. It's just so interesting how some of these shades like creased on me, the ones that are like more squishy, but then this shade didn't crease on me. So it's really enormous and it varies day to day. So just Keep that in mind, that is my experience. It might not be your experience, but if you do have hooded oily lids and you tend to have creasing issues, you might experience some creasing issues with some of these more squishy shades that I did mention specifically, which ones I did a whole dedicated video. I did individual swatches of each of the shimmer shades. I did some comparison swatches, same with the reflective palette. So check that video out because those videos take quite a bit of time, especially the comparison swatches, but I know that they're super, super helpful for you. So that's why I do them. So this is my number one palette in the month of April. There's already so many launches happening that I know about in May. So I'm very, very curious to see if I'm gonna have 
three, four, five, six palettes for next month will see. Stay tuned for that. And let me know if you're shocked by any of my placement in the ranking of these palettes. I would love to know. And thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you next time.